All right. I'm back. Yeah. Uh huh. What? Man. What? Move. <laughs> Um, Alright, Luz, it is your turn, Luz. Okay, can I go in the door behind us? You can. Okay. Would you like to? Yeah. Alright. And... Is it still looking at Eris? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Luth, the, the room beyond is a ruined chamber standing empty of all but a litter of rocky debris. What? And the Memphis is going to attack Eris. Wait, wait, it's filled with what? All I heard was Bok play and I'm... that that wasn't what you said. Oh. This rocky debris. All right, Eris. We're about to see what happens when you spank a water, Memphis. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. It is going to try and throw itself at you and bite you. Spank me. Yeah. Oh, sure. No, no. It's going to fly right up to you and try to slap you in the face. <laughs> as hard as it can. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> All right. So, your armor Your armor class is 13. Yes. Rolling the dice. Uh, he slaps you, but it, like it doesn't really hurt. <laughs> the uh, fact, the okay. fact, the fact that you seem completely unfazed by it seems to piss it off even more. <laughs> Eris, what are you going to do? He just slapped you in the face. Well, attempted to. <laughs> um, slap it back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh my God. There's, it's just going to be the water elemental and Eris just in a, a slap. Boxing fight. Slap, 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 slap. Arms just flailing. <laughs> Alright, so what's... Uh, four. Oh, this poor little thing. <laughs> Slapped you, didn't do nothing. Yeah, bitch. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit uh, you, you go to slap it and it like darts out of the way and you can't understand what it's saying, but the sound that it makes <laughs> is more than more than self you know, you understand that. Quick shoot thing. the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Paige. Yeah. Are you gonna slap it? Word of advice, don't slap it. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I had <laughs> All right, you, you guys are breaking up, breaking up pretty good again. What was that you said, Paige? I'm gonna run straight through it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like swinging on it or like attacking it? Or I'm just gonna run straight through it. Just gonna run. Okay, I need you to make a biscuit. Quit crying, buddy. You'll eat when he's dead. There's nobody even over there. Go eat your food and quit being a baby. It's that, time of, it's that time of night, my dog has conniption fits. Alright, this is one of those situations where there are not rules for this. So, as you run... Through it, I don't think technically you're supposed to be able to run through them, but since I've already established that you can slap through them, uh, I, I kind of have to keep the consistency. So I'm gonna say each of you is going to make a Constitution saving throw. Zero, one. Okay, Eris. Okay, and uh, what's its constitution plus zero? 
my constitution is too. Okay. Well, we are in uncharted territory now. Uh, random. You run through the water elemental. And it just explodes in every direction. <laughs> and then it slowly rematerializes with a completely stupefied, shocked look on its face. Like, <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> and it slowly turns to face Paige with this unbelieving look on its face. <laughs> and I'm just going to make it, pr like, lose its next action. Because it's just completely <laughs> dumbstruck. It literally cannot conceive of what just happened here. <laughs> what? What? And, you're, <laughs> and, and Paige, you're completely drenched. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> Narama. Can I use Hellish Rebuke? <laughs> Freeze touch it. Uh, it's already confused. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to evaporate. I don't know. Let me I guess look, we're over let me trying to up. talk to it. Hellish yeah. Rebuke. <laughs> I don't know if I have to wait for it to attack me and then I can use it, or if I can just use it straight out. I feel like I you point your yeah, finger I'd and the creature that time. damaged you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. The creature must make a dex savings throw, if it f and it takes a lot of fire damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful save. Has it actually damaged you? No, so can I, like, taunt it, too? <laughs> so I can use it? Slap, slap that ass! I'm spanking you now, buddy! <laughs> And it clearly doesn't like that, so maybe. <laughs> okay, then I guess I'll, I'll taunt it and try to slap it where it can attack hey, me. Hey, buddy, I just stuck my finger in your butt. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> All right. Looking at me like. So you, you taunt it. You try to humiliate it. It's now looking at you. It's still kind of really confused about the whole page thing. So now it just looks at you with this dumb look on its face. It is looking at you, but it's it's still kind of stupefied at the moment. Ah! Luth! Can I try to drink it? What? I'm gonna say flat no on that one. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Why not? It's water! Listen, I'm going to be getting enough flack from my viewers about how poorly I handled the rules on this creature. I, I do not need them thinking that I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Besides, I stated at the beginning of the last session, no dumpster tricks. And I how think, is that a dumpster I think trick? sticking a straw in this thing's butt and sucking on it is considered a dumpster trick. <laughs> it's water! Does it even have a Can I run and try to stand through it since it's already... Alright, let me ask you this. Okay. I will consider allowing you to try and drink it. If <laughs> you are comfortable with the idea of a, of a living magical water entity in your stomach... That's what I said! He's thinking. You saw what it did to the bag. <laughs> Are you good. ready to be a loose balloon? What if you just drink like it's or or it's wings? Or are oh, you, are like you guys sip. literally suggesting just take a sip? Just take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> we are literally thinking. Drink its wings, so it can't. Fly. I would make, I would make a joke right yeah. now, but I don't think any of you would understand it because I'm sure none of you have watched the videos. But I won't make the joke for those of you who have seen the videos. Don't be a bigot. Suck my spigot. <laughs> now I want to see the video. <laughs> so wait, is this a boy elemental? Maybe. I don't know if there's <laughs> such a thing as boy and girl elementals, but not the girl boy. I don't think. Well, I don't think it matters what gender it is. It's not going to like you trying to turn it into a beverage. <laughs> Get in my I'm cup! I'm dumbfounded, so you know. So, what do I roll? 
Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Audience. You're gonna drink it? Or just part of it? Ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna try to drink it. Damsels and Dingbats. Yes. All of it? We have a first on our channel. And this is not out of the ordinary for Dan. Not even close. <laughs> So bear with us, I do apologize for the shenanigans that are about to occur. If you are a young audience, please go watch Spongebob. This may not be suitable for your ears. <laughs> Dan, make an attack roll. And what am I attacking with? Your lips. <laughs> Come here, little thing. Come here. Come to daddy. Right in the mouth. There you go. Can you imagine, though, this poor thing? I spanked it. Cage ran through it. Now, Luth is going to run at it with his mouth open. It's not going to give me an enema. So. <laughs> it might. <laughs> <laughs> It'll launch straight through you. How much damage is left on this thing? Um, You can keep reading if you want, Narama. <laughs> <Yeah! laughs> Oh my <laughs> lord! <laughs> when it dies. Okay. <laughs> Dan walks up, sticks his lips to its ass, and with a big old pucker, this thing gets. You thought it looked shocked before. <laughs> its eyeballs bug out of its head like it's a cartoon character as it gets sucked into Dan into Lute's mouth and with a big old gulp it's gone. If you thought it was mad before. <laughs> Inside Luke's stomach, you hear. Not this fucking thing! <laughs> it's going to automatically succeed at its attacks because it, it can't miss. <laughs> it begins digging at the inside of your stomach. Oh, <laughs> so we're gonna do we're yeah. gonna do we're gonna do full damage. This is the last time you drink anybody, Dan. <laughs> All right, Dano, you take. Where's our healer? I don't think even he could help you at this point. <laughs> Billy, we need you. Dano, you take seven points of damage as it tries to burrow out. The side of your stomach. Oh. Pretty soon it's gonna find the other exit. Oh, good. <laughs> well, not good, but good. Dan just <laughs> drank a water elemental. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little one, <laughs> but he, he walked up to its butt and went... <laughs> 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 it's now it's now trying to dig its way out of his stomach. Ooh. And you think you're gonna... And, now the, and, 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 and what's the first thing Dan says after he does this? Where's our healer? <laughs> Tyler got up to go to the bathroom and I just told him this story and he's got this look on his face like, I am so glad I am not there right now. <laughs> but we need him. Billy's glad he's a... <laughs> Billy! Alright, Eris, you cannot believe what you just saw. <laughs> you, uh, you will not believe what you just saw. Your monk just... You just saw what, you know, <laughs> there are so many innuendous jokes running around in your mind right now that you can't pick one. What do you do? Luz is looking uh, a little uncomfortable at the moment, kind of grabbing his <laughs> sides and beginning to realize that was a dumb idea. <laughs> well, and the two do to point and laugh. Maybe shock him a little bit with lightning, see if it'll work. No! So yeah, I'll just point and laugh for my turn. Alright, you, like you take a full round, you, you take a full round to laugh your ass off. <laughs> <laughs> it is the hardest you have ever laughed in your life. Which is probably true. <laughs> hey, my hiccups are gone. 
<laughs> Paige. <laughs> yes. Luth is an idiot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was what, something I don't know. <laughs> what do you do? Eris is gonna black out from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe you can like help him throw up or something. I'm gonna try to pat him on the like. Hitting his You're gonna back give him like little little baby baby back pats. <laughs> <laughs> See if he'll cough it <laughs> up. All right. So, so Paige is trying to help, but it's not doing a whole lot of good. <laughs> She's just slapping you on the back repeatedly. <laughs> Which is better than the lightning bolt Eris was thinking about giving you. <laughs> <laughs> Narama! You, you find a, another short little passage that states water methods are resistant to all forms of physical attack, unless made with minor magical weapons or spells. So you okay. suspect, after everything you guys have done to this thing, that it's probably not lost any hit points at all. So, so Luth has a fully functioning water <laughs> elemental getting ready to explore his lower intestines. <laughs> so, can I go to Luth? This is going to be complicated. Oh, I really <laughs> don't want to have to do a rectal exam on you, but that would be weird. Can I do the chill touch on this little guy and pull him out? No. <laughs> what if you vomit him? No, for uh, make, making this as simple as possible, you can no longer see said target. So you can't cast the spell what if he on. Vomits what if he vomits into my hand? Well, that would be stupid. And drinking the elemental wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> if if he can force the creature out through regurgitation, um, <laughs> there, there's a chance. But I'm suspecting at this point, with as angry as it is, and with as, with as effective as it's being in here, it, it probably doesn't want to come out. <laughs> I keep reimagining a shocked face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't to stay in there. What the just happened? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going to set up a nest and make Luth's intestines its new home. Luth didn't, like, the Luth didn't even use a straw. <laughs> <laughs> he just straight lipped that fool. <laughs> <laughs> You are my juice box! Come here, free son. So, uh, yeah, you don't suspect you're going to be able to directly attack it in any manner that's Has not Aris going to directly <laughs> affect Luth. Has Eris blacked out yet? Well, She's uh... getting there. She's getting there. She's forgotten how to breathe. <laughs> oh... Well, I drank it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Maybe I did not think this through very well. <laughs> Master? <laughs> the water elemental's like, You are not my meat puppet! <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as it cooks good. <clears throat> you know, you need to eat something really hot to have it. <laughs> right now, you have the world's biggest ulcer growing in your guts. <laughs> It's about yeah, and to, comprehending language isn't going to help me at all. N Narama, even if I could you, understand. Narama, you can see this bulge in in Luth's stomach as this thing's flopping around and kicking. And Luth knows what it's like to be pregnant to the devil now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> well, at least you guys get some cool stuff. <laughs> well, I don't want it to kill him. And I don't want it to explode inside of him if I kill it. Is there any way I can coax it out of him without killing him? I think him? pissed enough. No. Uh, yeah, I breadcrumbs yeah, I don't, I don't think slapping its ass is an option at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoon eyes. 
I don't think this this is know. really a very unusual situation you find yourself in, and I don't blame you for not having a clue what to do because <laughs> honestly, well, can I give him honestly, your dungeon master's kind of at the same spot. Punch him in the gut. Can I give him a Heimlich maneuver to try and get that thing out of him? I will allow it, even though I will point out that Luth is not choking on a solid object. He's got a belly full of water. I don't well, know. If I, I don't know if in real life the Heimlich would do much, mm -hmm. but I, I will allow you to try. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna face him toward the room and try to Heimlich it out okay, of him. Okay, you're going to have of... you're gonna have to Heimlich him so hard that <laughs> I'm gonna say it's going to cause loose damage. <laughs> So you're going to make a physical attack on Luth. You just walk up behind him, wrap your arms around him, and go, <laughs> Yeah, but if I damage him, he'll die. He's already got damage. Well, he's squishy at this point. Him. So, go, go, he's in a new bong. He's in a new bong. So, uh, go ahead and make your attack roll. Let me put some X's down so I can kind of separate this out a little bit. All right, make your attack roll, and you're going to use your strength bonus because you're trying to <coughs> physically force this thing out of Luth. Luth, if you drink this thing again, I'm going to just... You're going to die. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> well, I have charisma. Can I try talking to it? It can't hear you. <laughs> oh. I don't want to hurt you. Inside, inside, Luth, you hear. Do you want me to? No, Biscuit, love that. Get down, buddy. You don't want me to? <laughs> what the hell does that mean, no? No, don't help me talk. Alright, Nuramo, what are you gonna do? Three. Do you want me to or not? No. All right. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and get it out of him. All right. So you walk up behind Luth and you get you go to wrap your arms around him and he realizes what you're doing and he's like, no, 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 no. And so you just, <laughs> so you just kind of stand there confused about what to do and then we're gonna go ahead and take it to Luth. I'm gonna vomit it into room 13 and shut the door. You're gonna try. Yes. And uh, there is no attack roll in the book that covers this situation. So, <laughs> so you're going to make a constitu constitution, constitution savings throw with disadvantage. Oh, uh, no. Because it don't want to come out. <laughs> it's warm in here. First and one. there's so many squishy things it can play okay. with. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> nope. nope. You start to feel it come up, and then it grabs a hold of your pancreas and pulls itself back down. <laughs> you're shitting me. Nope. He's. <laughs> you're gonna be shitting yourself here in a minute. <laughs> oh, that's something. Maybe we can give him lots. So can I fall down on my part of my body, and will that do anything? Uh, you could try next round. Right now, you're busy with your your hand in your mouth down to your like wrist. You're doing the 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 scene out of Army of Darkness with the, the little ash and the tea and <laughs> <laughs> London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna take another seven points of damage as it just like gophers around inside your your guts. Okay, so why do I take a death save or what do I do here? On your next round, right now you are unconscious. Is that right? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Luth sticks his hand in his throat and goes, <laughs> and then just collapses on the ground. <clears throat> what? Oh my god! So I'm gonna put the little, this was a dumb idea symbol on Dan. <laughs> Eris, you are still laughing. <laughs> you can choose to stop laughing if you want. If you continue laughing, I'm going to make you make a con save, because you haven't breathed in a little while. <laughs> and you, you could risk blacking out, but I'm not going to force that on you, so what would you like to do? Luth just okay. collapses on the floor. I stop laughing. Okay. Oh my god, he passed out. 
Where's Come the board? Guys. Where's the board to record this? <laughs> it's not recording. Alright, so what would you like to do? Yes, I am recording. I've been recording the whole thing. Okay. This this will this, awesome. this will be posted in perpetuity on YouTube. This may actually make my channel popular. It, yeah, I'm gonna share it for sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So know. what happens when you drink a water nymph? We will find out. <laughs> Everyone's yeah, okay. gonna be like, "Your dungeon master's an idiot. That could never happen." And your and, and your dungeon master's gonna be right. Like, you know what? You're right. But this was funny. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would pushing on his stomach do anything? Well, you, at this point, he's gonna punch it. You can flip him over and try to use squeeze him like a sponge if you want, but it's gonna be the same thing as if Narama tried to Heimlich him. It's gonna cause him some damage, which will result in this scenario in him failing one death save. Hmm. Okay, so I won't do that. Well, I don't know what else to do to get it out. Does anyone have laxatives? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say Luth done used the laxative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's gonna happen. I guarantee it's gonna happen, I promise you. <laughs> you know, spoilers. <laughs> I don't know what to do. This poor thing's going to go back to wherever it came from and be like, dude, you never guess <laughs> what happened. It's going to be like, hey guys, Fire. guess what kind of day I had? <laughs> <laughs> this chick slapped my ass <laughs> and then her friend just straight up drank me. <laughs> hey, I ran through it. But he'll never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well... It was, this was, it was not a colonoscopy, it was a colonoscopy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just catching my breath then. Okay, so, Paige! Oh boy. Anything we can do to help you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, this is so I'm weird, this has never happened. Hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. 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 We're all just standing here staring at your body and listening to this thing go la, 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 inside you. I'm catching my breath from laughing. Actually, actually, this is what you hear. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so it's okay now. No, it's like boring. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see light. Mm -hmm. uh, it smells bad in oh. here. Ooh, can I pour the water from the water station? <laughs> it's not. What are you going to do? Out. Drown the water element? Just to do whatever with. Never mind then. It's not going to work. Might as well just put a torch down my throat because <laughs> you guys, you guys need a, you guys need a hose. Just put a hose down his throat and siphon it out. Oh, that's an idea. Use my rope. <laughs> rope doesn't work that way. Dad. <laughs> it's not California rope. You can't use it as a straw. <laughs> oh good. It's a, it's a twist. It's a Twizzler rope. <laughs> Twizzler. Um. All right. So are you gonna do anything, Paige? You don't really know what to go. What to do? I don't blame you. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna try to open up the third door. Paige is just gonna wander off and figure out what's in the other door. Yeah. Okay, so you walk over and open up the other door? Yep. Alright, go ahead and move your token over there. And I will... Please don't unleash anything else because we're already busy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry in advance. <clears throat> Whoa. Uh-oh. Um, speaking of unleashing stuff... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, as if we weren't busy enough. All right, here's the here, here, here's the description. Crudely, here's the description of the room. Crudely executed symbols and glyphs scribed in bright green dye, 
decorate this large and irregularly shaped crumbling chamber. A large pit in the chamber's center shows evidence of a recent bonfire. A metallic cage in the center of the southern wall contains a gaping hole and stands empty. A small wooden bench draped with green cloth stands before the cage, and upon it sits several small objects. A bedroll lies nearby from which the sound of whimpering is plainly audible. So I'm going to go ahead and link this to you so if you missed any of that, you can just read it. Oh, I'm just stab it in the face. I want to know what I said. Okay, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know you just opened that door, but that gave me an idea. Paige, what does... We still have the torch, right? Yeah. What if we don't burn... But what if we hold the torch up against the body? It being water, it's not... It's going to get uncomfortable. What if we just kind of hurt it and guide it out? With the torch. Who you can do that? <laughs> Who cares if it comes out as your as long as it comes out? Hey, I never thought of that. <laughs> and he's unconscious, so he can't say no. Yeah. I was trying, I was trying, I was, yeah, you can't give consent if you're unconscious. Uh, he didn't say no. <laughs> look on his face. I, I was trying to think of a suitable way of punishing him for this, uh, because because there is going to be long-lasting effects of uh, repercussions. But I, I was I was thinking something else. But you know, never being able to use that particular male body part in the way it was designed to be used again, that would be pretty humbling. <laughs> you can do that while well, I... we can either make. Sweat it out, or he could pee it out. Uh, the only problem with doing that is to raise the temperature inside his body enough to make this water elemental uncomfortable is going to probably mean that you, there's not a lot of loose left. <laughs> well, that idea so, failed. I'm going to so, search the room. <laughs> okay, so, so you go ahead, you open the door, you look around, you step into the room. Go ahead and move your, your token one square into the room. And then One we're square gonna, into the room. Yeah, and then we're going to move to Narama. Hmm. Mm. Well, this thing has found a new home, essentially, it seems like. I almost wonder if I should drag you home and leave you on rest so that you can... Regain consciousness. You might just have a new part of you. While. Ooh. I wonder. Is there a way that I can. In that room. To rest. Where it's not going to hurt him. Which room? The room where it came from. Uh, no the other one. Small room. Is there a way I can turn it into. Rest. And then it'll slowly raise his temperature. To make the thing uncomfortable. Uh, you can try. But just keep in mind that, again, any raise of the body temperature to that extreme is not going to be healthy for Luth. And he's already at the point of making death saves. So he probably mm -hmm. would not survive that. <laughs> Eris, do you have any ideas to help me out here? I've got no well, maybe yeah, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, at this point, I think the best thing we can do is loot help him. Because there's no way we can get it out of him. And everything we do is going to kill him. So maybe if we just put him on long rest, that by the time we figure out a way to get it out of him, he'll rest enough where if we do hurt him, we will kill him. You guys agree? Yeah. yeah. So let's drag him where he'll be safe and put him in a room that would. Okay, room thir um, room thirteen is completely empty and it does seem to be fairly safe. So if you want to drag him uh, in there, he'll still be reasonably close to you if you need to get back to him. If I drag him in the area where the thing came out of, would you think it would go back, like get him and go back into the water? It might. The only problem is, is there more in there? 
Do we know if there's more? Is that the yeah, you really didn't have much time to stop and, and research the subject. I'll be careful, and I'll put him in 13 just in case there's more. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move him up into 13. And people thought their day was weird. We gotta try and save him. Can't just leave him there in every right. way we have to stay out of him. Cool. Luth, make it a, a death save. That's right. So you're just going to roll a d20 and you want to get a 10 or higher and that's a success. If you get anything lower than that, it's a failure. And he'll die? No, uh, mm -hmm. it will. he needs to succeed at three death saves before he fails at three death oh, saves. Lord. So you, you are currently at negative one if you reach... Well, you're not necessarily at negative one. You have one failure... Versus zero successes. Okay, so water method. As as you are, as you deposit Luth in the center of the room, <clears throat> his guts are kind of like moving around. His legs start to tremble and wiggle, and then he farts, <laughs> and then he farts <laughs> again, and you can't help but imagine this poor little water elemental. Burrowing through his intestines, trying to find its way out. <laughs> After a couple more farts, his pants get wet. <laughs> and then you see something crawling down his pant leg. Oh, and then you no. see this thing's little head peek out from underneath the pant leg and look around. It doesn't see you, but it's kind of looking around. And it's got a very contented, satisfied, smug little grin on its face. So it's an anal baby. <laughs> yes, it turns around and looks at you and goes, Daddy! <laughs> oh my god, the first male to give birth. It's my little butt, baby. <laughs> my colon's clean. You're, you're such a little shithead. <laughs> if I survive this, I'm going to have to straighten it up. We have such an int. <laughs> I didn't hear anything beyond, if I survive this. I said, if I survive this, I'm going to have to postcards because we have such a intimate relationship. Well, as it stands right now, the repercussion of having a forced living enema, uh, you're going to suffer a permanent drop in constitution by one point. So you're going to drop your con by one point. And you're probably never going to poop the solid again. <laughs> well, but, in, but in theory you will not be drinking water elementals anymore in theory right. you, are, you are Dan I cannot say that at, with absolute certainty so what is that a savings throw I drop a con no your actual constitution stat which is what I don't oh know. there it is so drop it by one, and then later you need to see if that changes your modifier. Because if it changes your modifier, it's going to change your bonus. It's going to change your bonuses to certain skills, to your savings throw, and whatnot. So we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Yeah. Okay, Eris, you're standing out in the hallway. Are you paying attention to what's going on in the room, or the fact that Paige has wandered off into another room by herself? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna follow her, me. Uh, I'm gonna follow Paige. <laughs> Seems like Narama's got that under control. Alright, so you can go ahead and move up oh, beside what? Paige. Yeah, can you move my mini? Huh. Now, you, you see the, the figure on the map? Yes. Okay, that is... First of all, I don't <laughs> understand how you can see it, but that's because it's on the wrong layer. So I need to put that on the token layer. Um, that is where the bedroll is, and that is where the whimpering, crying sounds are coming from. Okay. The circle in the middle of the room is where the bonfire was. The the, the square dots are the cage that have it, you know it's got the broken area in it. And then the the, the rectangle with the two dots on it—that's kind of like the altar area. Okay. There's okay. something whimpering. 
in a bedroll. Something is whimpering and crying on the on that side. You know, you can't see it because of the uh, the altar that's there, but something should sounds, I investigate? Something sounds very sad. You cut out. Uh, something is ve something sounds very sad. Oh, okay, I'll investigate it. Okay. You go ahead and move your mini over there. I'm going to assume you're moving cautiously and whatnot. Yes. So I will. that will be your turn. You, you move down the hallway, the past thing. page, and, and yeah, no, kind of work your way across the room. Uh, yeah. Like that? Yeah, I think. <clears throat> All right, Paige, what do you do? I want to go investigate from the opposite side of the room. All right, go ahead and move your mini. And I need to... Give me just one second here. We're dealing with two things at once now. Okay, so that's this guy. It wasn't a dumpster trick. No, it was just a dumb turd trick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have this open here. If I don't, I can do a bugbear. And... Here an objection. Okay, so that's this. Let's, let's tuck this out of the way for now. I'm gonna tuck this out of the way for now. We're gonna put this like here, and then me. I need to open this room again. And we're gonna put this over here. Okay. So you guys walk up, and you see laying on the bedroll is Freddy where's his description um. <laughs> I'm still getting okay <laughs> you see a small lizard like humanoid creature Aww. It's it's three or four feet tall, but it's laying on this um, this sleeping roll. It's covered in scars and scratches, like old scars and, and scratches and whatnot. It's it's dressed in really ragged clothes, and it's actually asleep. And it's actually thrashing and crying in its sleep, like it's like a dog having a bad dream. Can I wake it up? Yeah, you can try to wake it up if you'd like. How would you like to try to wake it up? Hmm. Gently shake it. Okay, you, you gently shake it. Its eyes pop open. And, 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 <laughs> oh, God. And it's got this, this brief moment of, you, you know, that stupor, that stage you're in when you first wake up, you're not quite sure where you're at or what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, you recognize that look in its eyes. And then it kind of, it, it seems to pull itself out of whatever turmoil it was in in its dream. And it seems to calm. And then it turns its head and looks at you and its eyes get really big. <laughs> and it sits up and tries to scoot backwards away from you. And it just looks terrified. And, um, yeah, it's just on its butt. Like, it scoots like, up against this wall. And it's just <laughs> horrified. Like, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> And it's squeaking and making weird noises. Eris, I believe you might be able to speak with it. What languages do you know? Uh, Eris speaks Draconic. All right. In Draconic, in Draconic, this little creature is yelling, Don't kill me, Bo! Don't you hurt me, Bo! Don't kill me, so is it saying don't hurt me? Yeah, it, it's it's it keeps saying yeah. don't don't hurt Meepo. Don't I know, I know, don't kill I Meepo. Oh, I feel bad for it. Like him. it seems more afraid of Paige than of Eris. Like when it looks at Eris, it, it it looks like it wants to calm down and it gets a little grin on its face, and then it looks at Paige and freaks the fuck out again. <laughs> so it's comfortable around you, Eris. Page. Oh, hi, Space! Well, it's, it's not my turn. It's yet. a cover it you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look it up. Alright. You speak Draconic and it was. Narama. Narama. 
Yes. Please tell him I won't. The buggy, the buggy eyed <laughs> little water man pulls itself fully <laughs> out of Luth's <laughs> pants, shakes itself off like a wet dog, and floats up into the air. And then it notices you standing there looking at it. And it smiles at you. <laughs> I can comprehend language. Do you think there's any way I can what it was saying and try to communicate with it? You, you want to cast uh, uh, cast a spell and try to communicate with it? Yeah. Okay, so you cast the spell. What do you say? I want to tell it that we weren't meaning any harm. Um. <laughs> it gets this very... <laughs> the fuck you say look on its face. It doesn't say anything. It just gets this really, like... See see if there's a way we... A bond. a uh, An understanding. An ally. He looks yeah, at you and go... He looks at you and he looks down at Luth and he goes, Your friend <laughs> sucked me up <laughs> and drank me. Your other friend spanked my butt <laughs> Your other other friend ra <laughs> ran through me, <laughs> and you want to be friends. <laughs> is that what I'm understanding here? <laughs> you attacked us with water. You're not innocent. I'm saying, can we have a truth? I didn't try to drink you! <laughs> no, but you tried to drown us! Well, I didn't have a choice! I'm kinda like, that's my job! Well, your job? From whom? I was... Uh, <laughs> hold on a second. Um, that's, that's this one over here. Let me open this one back up. <laughs> He is under a magical guise, which means that he is magically delicious. He is magically <laughs> forced <laughs> to protect uh, the water thing in room fourteen, and he is magically forced to attack anyone who tampers with it. So you guys came in and tampered with it. He was forced magically as its guardian to attack you. Is there a way I can free him of that to where he can be free and I can regain some form of trust for drinking him? Well, <laughs> you don't know exactly <laughs> how the how the spell how the spell worked to bind him to it in the first place but you can tell that it is obviously strong magic because even as he's talking to you now you can see him getting angry again like the magic is forcing him it's like the whole werewolf thing get away from me i'm changing you know so you can tell any minute now he's going to attack you again just because he's being forced to Okay. And at this point, he might actually kind of want to. Well, I can imagine. You think you've had a traumatic day. So there's no way I can ask him nicely to use his healing powers to heal. Um, no. A, <laughs> A um, his healing power can't heal other people. Oh, only himself. His healing power can only heal himself, and he can't use that right now because he doesn't have access to enough water. There is not enough water, even in that keg, for him to use that ability. Well, the last ditch effort I can tell him is that we're no longer in the room where the water is, so if he wants to guard it properly, he better go back to that room. At which point he growls, If I kill you all, you can't threaten the keg! <laughs> and if you attack me, I surround you in fire. All right, he's he's not of proper mind at the moment. Luth, make a death save. Here we go, Katie. <laughs> what what is my death save supposed to be? Uh, just a d twenty, right? Just a d twenty. You need to roll a ten or higher. You are oh, now no. you are now at two failures. One more failure, and your character dies. That's fine. Death by, <laughs> death by enema. <laughs> hey, 
since I've been running with you, we haven't had that. Not yet. That is a story to add to the books, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Water Method is going to attack Narama. So he's going to lunge at you and try to bite you. Why is the pin bite? At least he's not trying to drown me. So that's going to be a d20 plus, I believe it's four. Uh, hold on a second, I gotta resize my window here, everything's cockamamie. Alright, so, claws, bite, uh, it's got plus four to hit, so one, two, three, four, roll. And it does not hit you, you managed to kind of sidestep it a little bit. Yes. Eris! Yeah. It, it's looking at you and it's like, Don't hurt me, Paul! No, don't hurt me, Paul! <laughs> um, so Paige is closer to it than I am? Yes, currently. But he's, he's, he's looking, at, one that can pop he's looking okay. at you with these big, pleading puppy dog eyes. Let me see if I can find a good picture, and not necessarily <laughs> of him, but of the creature itself. Okay. Actually, actually, here. This is a Meepo. Wow. Meepo. Of course, he does not have the staff or the bone club. He doesn't even have the headdress on, but he does kind of have this fancy shaman-like gear on, but you can see he's covered in old scars and scratches, and he's dirty, and... But, yeah, he's just this little lizard guy. Um... You... Your characters have never encountered one of these before, but above board, they are called kobolds. Okay. Which means they're blue. So, yeah, he's, he's looking at you and pleading and begging not to, not to hurt him. What do you do? I... No harm. See you. No. Wait, how many feet? Well, Luke. Gonna eat. Guys are breaking up again. Ask him what's. Ask him. Ask him a question. First, ask him if he's okay. Uh, I say I don't mean any harm. I ask him if he's injured. Uh, I don't know, me, me, injured? Injured, injured? Uh, no, Meepo no understand. <laughs> Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Uh, no hurt, Meepo! <laughs> 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 yeah. Talk to him. Uh. Okay, I'm friendly. <laughs> Are you okay? Meepo scared! <laughs> Fair uh, enough. He, 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 he looks at Eris and he's like, You are the biggest, prettiest kobold I've ever seen! <laughs> but that one, and he looks at Paige, That one scares me! <laughs> <laughs> All we got was that one's it. Okay. Uh. Hello? So would, would you like to try and use your turn to calm it down and convince it you're not here to murder it, sacrifice it to the gods, or in any other way harm it? Yes. Okay, I need you to make a charisma check. Charisma? First time I've used that. Where is it? My charisma is two. Two? Yeah. Well. <laughs> um, Meepo is fucking terrified. <laughs> you, lost, you lost something in translation, and the look on his face makes you think that you just said, I'm going to rip your spleen out and eat your children! <laughs> Meepo, Meepo scoots this way a little bit. <laughs> no, we will. We will. Paige. I'll be right back. He's scared of you. Don't scare him anymore. Yeah, they're saying they're talking back and forth in this hissy language that you can't understand. 
and and he he seems at first a little comforted talking to Eris, but he keeps looking at you like he's <laughs> obviously terrified of you. But then Eris <laughs> says something, and Meepo just loses his shit. <laughs> oh, I don't know whether to laugh or to cry. <laughs> um, can I like put my arms up to show him? I'm not gonna. Uh, at this stage, you suspect if you do that, he'd probably think you're getting ready to attack him. He's, like, <laughs> on the edge right now. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, step back then. <laughs> back away from the scenario? Yeah, right, go I'm ahead, just gonna go back up and, like, let him just calm down. All right. Like, yeah, go like, there go, we go. go. All right, so make a, um, perception check. Perception check. Okay, where do I look for that? One. Oh, yeah, one. Amazing. Plus the 20. They're going down one. <laughs> oh, whoops. I, well, that's. All right. So, so you, yeah, you're too focused on what's going on at the moment. Uh, you, you don't notice anything else. So, Narama! Yes! It, it seems fully intent on kicking your butt. <laughs> like, it, it has been completely overrun by the, the magical control that is on it. And I have no way to... I... Well, you know that you're not going to be able to damage it with normal weapons. Well, you can, it's just very resistant to it. Uh, it seems to be that magical attacks and... Magical weapons seem to be your best bet if you wish to to harm it. You don't think you're going to be able to subdue it or charm it or make it put the genie back in the bottle, so to speak. You, it's it's it's, it's going to be a fight. <laughs> what if I change my perception to where I can change my appearance? What if I try to look like one of it? Um. It's not acting of its own rational intelligence right now. So, it's just, it's basically, uh, the magical spell that's controlling it is telling it to defend against anybody who intrudes on the water. So, it, it'll probably still recognize you, even if you, no matter how you look, it'll probably still recognize you as an intruder, and it most likely will still attack you. Okay, and I gotta be careful... I'm checking out one of my spells. Um, I'm gonna leave you there. I'm gonna try the chill touch. Okay, let me bring that back up. Go ahead and make a ranged spell attack. So you're gonna roll a d20 and add your spell attack bonus. My spell. <coughs> oh, that's horrible. Um, um, you do not successfully hit it. No. Okay, so that's going to take us to Luth. Luth, make your death save. Oh, boy. Oh, no. That is, that, is, that is one success and two failures. There's and, still hope for Luth. And the Memphis is going to attack Noroma again. My screen's getting a little crowded here. Oh, I've got one more. Hey, my, uh, stuff. my iPad's plugged in. Is it? Are you able to hear us better? Uh, at the moment, yes. But it, yeah. it's not like constantly breaking up. It just happens on occasion. So if it happens again, I'll let you know. That way you know if it's made a difference or not. Okay, right. so, so for now, um, it's going to try and swipe at you with one of its claws. So it has... Plus three to hit. And it critically fails. <laughs> That's poor little bastard. <laughs> now, critical failures are built into fantasy grounds, but not D20. So let me look up D&D &D 5E critical roll uh, crit critical to roller. Uh, critical fail. 
Okay, table will work, I guess. All right, so it's going to roll. It looks like a percent. No, it's not using a weapon. I've got cards for this somewhere, but I'm not going to take the time to go dig them out. Actually, I got a thing on my phone. Hold on a second. It's not for this edition of the game, but I use it with my tabletop group, and it seems to work okay. So, where are my D and D stuff? Where are my D and D stuff? Because that is proper English. <laughs> um, critical role. There it is. So critical failure on a melee attack. Unintentional move. Move 10 feet in a random direction, provoking attack of opportunity as normal. So, it goes to swing at you. And I don't have its mini out here anymore. Hold on a second. Yeah, because it was in loot. 